this nigga's possible. Happy Mother's Day. First and foremost, um, thank you to the new subscribers uh, that have shown up. Once I learn how to do all this fancy editing shit, I can do the like point up and to the left, click here or click down into the right button and subscribe thing. But until then, we just go rough it. So thank you. Thanks for coming. Um, today's topic is going to talk about watering and more importantly, just understanding your pH how to use your equipment, your pH meter, your TDS uh, meter to get your parts from million reading, and just some recent updates to the greenhouse. So, uh, long story short, walking my dog, people recycling. Hey, look what I found. Fucking little shelving unit. So, went in, uh, threw that in there just to kind of hold up to kind of help better utilize the spaces in the six by eight uh, greenhouse. And just as a little temporary power setup, just went and used a lawnmower battery for a little inverter. Um, that way, just while I'm out here, I can charge a phone. Um, I can run a little fan slash heater. The, the inverter is a little, the inverter and the battery are too small to run the heater. And when, like, over this past night when it was real frosty, I just ran a, a, a long ass extension cord out to the greenhouse and just plugged in a little space heater. And that held it, held the temperature at 60 degrees uh, throughout the dip. So, yeah, so that's just some recent updates we made. Um, also, something cool. Since quarantine, I've been stuck in the house, and I've been noticing I would use up a lot of lighters. Um, so what I went and found was the hemp wicks. I started using hemp wicks, because then after a while, you would you could taste the butane. You sitting in the house all day, instead of rolling J's, I just went and bought a little ball. Well, I've been about that ball, so, and I like to use those, so. Uh, with that, if you're always using a torch lighter, which is nice, after a while you end up tasting the butane. So after about fucking two months of being stuck in the house. Uh, after the first like month and a half of tasting the butane, I was like, fuck it, I just went and bought a little hemp wick dispenser. I thought this was cool. I've seen other ones that look, they fit just around the lighter, but I think this was cool, a little glass, uh, little glass vial with the hemp wick. So anyways, let's refill it. But that's neither here nor there. Let's get to while we're here. Um, the pH, uh, water from our rain bucket right outside out there um distilled water tap water so just kind of wanted to go through well actually first let's talk about ph let me sit on a little chair thank the lord oh my god um i went out and purchased the general hydroponics sorry general hydroponics uh ph control kit which on the back it has all the information you need to know about why pH is important. Ideal for pH for plant plant growth, essentially. The nutrient take up is most essential at that range of 5.5 to 6.5. A little tighter, a little, little looser, but just as long as you're in a range, um, excuse me, as long as you're in a, a good range, that's decent enough. Um, and it just gives you this fantastic chart, which has pretty fancy rainbow colors on it. And you get your two bottles, pH up, pH down. Uh, eyedropper kit and a little test solution for it uh, one thing when you go out and you get your pH meter and your TDS meter you can get those anywhere um, mostly probably used for like testing water water quality anywhere you go to test water quality they will have these things um, when you get those two you all, sometimes they'll come with a test solution of a pH set at four that's your control value so that way you can make sure your meters are well calibrated or most of your pH meters well calibrated. Uh, they'll send you solution set at four uh, and set at seven. Um, and maybe one more in between just to make sure. Uh, if not, you gotta buy the test solution separately to make sure when you got, cause you gotta calibrate this often. Um, and the storage solution, which you really don't need. I think they said a storage solution is just some saline water or something. Cause it's a little electrode in here that gets that pH reading. So let's get started pH meter on. First up, our distilled water. Let's see the light. Well, is that five, 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 five and a half? Oh, yeah. Yep, it's distilled. Tap, tap, tap. Just rinse it off. Just try to try it off on it. Just check out our bin water, our rain water here. Usually rainwater is pretty 
pure close to seven. I'm getting Ooh, sun's in the camera. Fuck it, I'll just say it all out. Six point four. Yep, about six point four on this one here. On our um on our bin water. Clean it off again. And we'll do our tap water. Almost seven. About seven. Yeah, so we'll just put a little bit of pH down in it to bring us down into our range. And then that's pretty much that. Um, when you do your pH up or your pH down, it only literally just, I'll just use this as an example while I'm here. You just need a little bit. This is just a one milliliter droplet, eye droplet. You only really need one or two drops. Obviously, if you, this is about, actually, you see what volume that is. Before, like a gallon of water, like most of these nutrient mixes and your pH mixes, they talk of generally mixing into per gallon. Um, so, per gallon, you may need a couple drops, two or three drops, maybe half a, a 0.5 milliliter. And then you get it right. You want to shake up your water. So let it settle for a second because you want that solution to spread around in there. Shake it up, spread it around, lay it back down. Then test it with your pH meters. Uh, with your pH meter and then get it in the range you want. Next up, we'll do our partial million. This is a little funky. You can see, read that one there. I don't think it's supposed to be there. It's supposed to be a zero, but uh, Amazon shit. Distilled water. Comes in at... I don't know if y'all can see this, but I'll say it out loud, 77, which I think is pretty good. I know the tap water when I did it earlier was like 122. One forty one here, if you can see. I know the lighting's a little bad. I'm out in the greenhouse. Man. House is a little junky. Dust this off. Tap 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 tap. And our rainwater here. Oh no, let's clear it. Hold, hold. Oh, here we go. See a little better in the lighting there. Shift. Oh, this one shifts from EC to PPM Celsius, PPM Fahrenheit. I don't know how well y'all can see that in there. So we'll go to clear it. Do our rainwater here. Seventy-six. Might be a little dirty. If not, my meter's a little dirty. Probably need to clean it. But yep, that's pretty much how to use your meter, uh, your T, your parts per million meter, and your pH. Just distilled water, rainwater, tap water. Um, your pH solutions up and down. Those are acidic. Well, obviously it says acid, so do be careful with that. Try not to get it on your hands or your face or whatever have you. That'll burn. Um, and then you just mix it in your water, shake it up, let it settle, and you're good to go. So that's pretty much the prepping, treating your water for feeding. It's pretty much what I do every other other day or whatever have you. I'll put it in a little jug here. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and happy Mother's Day. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Thanks. Peace.